What's really wonderful about this routine from the performer's point of view is that you get to play um, two characters really at once. You're, you're playing the magical character who believes in the magic. And this is what the, uh, uh, Robert Houdin said when he was talking about a magician as an actor playing the part of a magician. This is the magician you're playing the part of, the guy that actually believes it's real. The guy that believes in this mathematical world uh, construct and believes that cards can uh, do all kinds of things by themselves. That magic character is the one you're presenting to the audience. But the audience, when you first drop a card and don't realize it, the audience feels sorry for you. But then when you count the cards and there's still six, suddenly they realize there's somebody screwing with them. That's the trickster character behind the magical character. So basically the audience is aware that there's a trickster pulling on this, all this stuff on them. At the same time, they're charmed by the fantasy character that actually believes in magic. It's sort of like a ventriloquist and his dummy. The audience is aware all the time that there is a ventriloquist and aware that the ventriloquist is the one that's making the dummy talk. But they begin to be captured uh, by the spirit of the dummy. The dummy is so real to them that they begin talking to the dummy and they can't resist the impression that the dummy is alive even though they know internally it's not. In the same way, people are aware of the trickster magician, the guy that's pulling a trick on him, the smart guy behind the mask of the, uh, the real magician, the magical character. But that magical character's mask keeps slipping and you see the trickster behind him. That's the interesting thing about playing this particular role. So as a performer, we want to we want to concentrate on the role that the magical character is playing, the one that believes in magic. It's important that he follow along through the trick step by step as if everything was real, as if it was happening to him the way it seems to be happening to him from the audience point of view. So if you're counting, we go like this one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I know it's you're laughing because it doesn't seem possible. That could be a purely mathematical card trick, um, but it is. And it doesn't matter if I throw the card um, off to the left um, or or to the right or right down the center, and here it comes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm still going to have one, two, three, four, five, five. Did I drop one?